Hey guys, just came by to tell you guys that I'm very, very sorry for the late video for this August haul, even though August had already ended and we're closing approaching to the end of September. Yes, I know, it is late. Um, there's a reason why, there's an excuse for it because I was busy making my short film. While making a short film, I have, well, this is the kind of news right now. I have to reshoot my short film again. Um, Let's not go into that. You, you have to wait until I, um, you have to wait for my making of, um, production diary, basically. That can be in the future deadline, um, pipeline right now. But, you know, long and short story, I have to do with you for my short film. I'm very busy at work. I'm at work right now and school and yeah, um, that's an excuse. So, yeah. <sighs> Sorry for the late video, and I hope you enjoyed this collection update for the month of August 2021. There's 4K, there's Blu-rays, there's, you know, all that jazz. So, have fun. Enjoy. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to Movie Kids in the video. And yeah, this is better late than ever, I guess. Um, yeah, this is everything I want to pick up for the month of August. Let's get right into it. So you may be wondering why this video is late because I've been busy with, well, the seven reasons why I've been busy. One is school, then work, then my short film. I am gearing up shooting the short film in a couple of days, actually. That's why I've been, I'm not shown what I got for the month of August, this collection update. is that I've been busy, so sorry, better late than ever, I guess. And also, I was waiting for one title that was supposed to be come out on August 30th, but it arrived late. It finally arrived from Amazon. Hopefully, it does not arrive. Damage is an arrow video release. I think you may know what it is, but let's get right into it. So, I have some self stacks the new release titles, the Blu rays, and the 4Ks. So, let's get right into it. So, the new title, we got a very decent stack of titles from that came out in the month of August. The first two are being from Shaw Factory by the new brand, a like uh, edition, a brand new edition of a older release that are now superior. That's the first one being Coraline. Love, love, love this film. Without a doubt, one of my favorite like a film. My number one, probably second, go with Paranorman. I just adore this film by its creativity by the story and the character and how creepy it is and I just love everything about this movie and I had a pleasure seeing this movie again on big screen a couple weeks ago and just it brings back so many memories um, watching this movie and I can finally um, get rid of the older Universal Studio release that pretty much all the extras are poured over to the new edition by Shaft Factory with a slip cover and this is a really nice release nonetheless we got a very nice slip cover it's a Blu-ray DVD compact, so when you open it up, it's gonna give you a booklet, which is pretty freaking cool. I did not know it's gonna come with a booklet and a um a, a really good discard. Um, yes, yeah, love love this film. Um, one of the best like a film. Um, nothing tops Coraline. Um, just really really great film, and I'm happy to own a definitive edition of Coraline, just on Blu-ray. And the next one is probably Wave 1. Um, the next wave um, is coming out on September, which is really exciting. I already, already pre-ordered them. But the next one is The Buck Trolls. This is the only Leica film that I have not yet seen in their filmography. I don't know why I missed out on theaters. I didn't see it in theaters. I didn't buy on Blu-ray. For whatever reason, I don't know why. So I saw Paranorman. I saw Cooper the Two Strings uh, um, in theaters. But for the reason I didn't never I never watched the box shows until now. I enjoyed it. It's not great. It's not as good as Paranorman and Coraline, the first two like a film that they, that ever released. But I really enjoyed it. It's cute. It's fun. It's creative. Um, I love the stop motion aspect of it. It's really cool to watch. 
and I'm happy to own a, a definitive edition of from the Universal because it also come the same same packaging that Coraline did. It come in the booklet and it's a Blu-ray and DVD comeback. So really nice release and a really decent film. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Next up is added to my Pixar collection, Luca. Finally, it's added to my collection. Um, I still remain the same opinion about this movie. I still like this movie. It's cute, it's fun, it's nothing too complex as other Pixar film like Soul or Inside Out or Up. Even though they're all by Pete Doctor. Anyways, love the animation style. Love, love, love the animation style. It gave a very vibrant and yet cartoonish style that I really, really enjoy watching. And I don't mind this movie. I liked it. And I'm happy to add this to my picture collection um, with this really nice holographic zip cover. Um, yeah, that is, is Luca. Labyrinth, the 35th anniversary edition of Labyrinth, of course. Love this movie. This is an upgrade from the Blu-ray that I own, a Digibook Blu-ray that I own. I'm probably going to sell that and just keep this because this is a very nicer release and also it's on 4K. I love this movie. It's a, it's a child favorite of mine. I remember watching this one in my early teens watching on Netflix and I had a massive crush on Jennifer Connelly. A very young Jennifer Connelly. Um, Connelly. Really, really love the creativity aspect of it. The production design, the, the puppets, the creature designs, uh, just everything about this movie just screams magical. And I really, really enjoyed it. But I prefer Dark Crystal a tad bit, but I really enjoyed Labyrinth by its story and the creativity and the performance by Jennifer Connelly is great. Even though she can be a pain in the butt in the beginning of the movie, but I really enjoyed this movie. And it's a really nice release. I, really, I was pretty surprised by the packaging. I thought it was going to be like a regular case um like luca for example but this is a digibook with a very nice clear case and it represents uh that the prop that jennifer Connelly has in the beginning of the movie when she recites one on the lines and it rep rep represent that in a digibook form which is a really nice touch by sony you know 4k blu-ray and it's a, it's a, it's a digibook you know Really nice digibook um, release. A really cool, cool release nonetheless. A really good movie. So, that is Labyrinth. Next one. This is like a day one purchase. If you know me, I love this movie. That is In the Heights. That is by John M. Choose. Just love this movie. One of your films of this year so far. I love the music. I have not yet watched it on 4K, but... I'm dying to rewatch this movie. I love the music, the story, the characters, the set design, the choreography, the cinematography, the direction. Everything about this movie is phenomenal and just well done. And just love, love in the heights. I cannot praise enough. This was a day one purchase. Without a doubt, I just couldn't resist. I love this movie. Yeah, it, it had to add it to my collection soon enough. Lastly, to the new release title that is, and I will read the release of The Cat of Nine Tales, started by Dar Dario Argento. This is the filmmaker I have not yet seen any of his works, but there's some, some works of, from his that I've heard of, like Phenomena, Suspiria. I need to get them, because um, I heard wonderful, wonderful things about them. Um, but this one is a really nice release. This is a 4K, obviously, a really nice, you know, hardback um, release really nice but this is a blind buy so I hope I will like this movie but I'm probably going to plan to watch this in the fall season I mean obviously we're in fall we're in September already so I think it's a perfect time for me to watch The Cat of Nine Tales and this will be my early introduction to Galio or Jalio um, genre a genre I never watched uh, from the film so that is The Cat of Nine Tales by Arrow Video Release Really, really nice release by Arrow. That's all the new release titles. Now we get to the 4K. This is all the 4K that I picked up for the month of August. This is not a new release title that came out in the July, the month of July. I decided to wait until I picked up the Cat Nine Tail. That is The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Um, another film directed by Dario Argento, and I heard really phenomenal things about this film in particular and 
oh, I'm really cannot wait to watch this and dive in into this. My very first Dario Antonio film probably would be The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Um, really nice packaging, and you see it had uh, a really nice theme. Um, you know, that's amazing. I love the consistency, consistency going on with these releases. And they just announced a couple of months ago that they were releasing Deep Bread on 4K, the same artwork style that the Cat of Nine Tails and the Bird of Crystal Plumage give. So it could be a nice look on your shelf. So that is the Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Um, really excited to dive into this. Now most of this, most of this 4K that I got from either Half Part Books, CD Exchange, and um, half of are from, from Best Buy and the other. And some are from eBay because I got them a good deal. I got them really cheap with a with great condition that they have. So the first one is Superman, the movie, the original Christopher Reeve, Christopher Reeves, um, started by Richard Donner. I I it's been a long time I've seen this movie. Last time I saw this movie probably on DVD when I was a kid, and I was in shock when I found this on High Five Books with the subcover because the subcover is out of print in. Very nice condition, mint condition, brand like brand new, literally for seventeen dollars, um, for four K. Heck yeah, um, love this movie. I for that time I remember seeing. I, I really love this movie. It's just childhood favorite of mine. But it's been a long time I've seen this movie, so I think it's time for me to revisit this film because it's been a while, long while, and hopefully one of those will 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 release Superman two on four K. Hopefully soon in the future because I love Superman two. But Superman the movie is iconic for a lot of reasons. And then we got the Marvel for um M the MCU on 4K. I now plan to upgrade all the MCU Blu-ray that I own on 4K. I have Thor Ragnarok all the way to Far From Home on 4K, but I do not have the first Iron Man all the way to Spider-Man Homecoming on 4K until now. Uh, but I don't have them all just yet. Um, I have to take my time because I want to get with the slip cover. So the first one is The Avengers. This is a very nostalgic movie that I saw in theaters on a Thursday showing before, back when it was 12.01 a.m. Not the Thursday showing like was today, you know, 7 p.m. on Thursday showing. Back when it was 12 a.m. at night. It was a big deal for me. Um, this movie was a big deal for me as a comic book reader, as a fan of Marvel Cinematic Universe. I love this movie and I and I'm happy to own it on 4K for fifteen dollars on half our books in the pristine condition subcover. So yeah, that's my goal is to get with the subcovers because I want them to look nice on my shelves. And then we got Age of Ultron. The same day I got the Avengers is Age of Ultron. I like this movie. Um the more we watch this movie, the more I like this movie, the more I appreciate this movie. I really enjoyed it. Um same price I got for the the first Avengers on 4K that is fifteen dollars. With this again pristine zip cover, um, really and thoroughly enjoy this movie. It's not bad, um, but still enjoyable nonetheless. And you know that's a film that I introduced Wanda, Pietro, Ultron, and Vision. You know the big new characters. Last year I got from the Hyper Books that is Captain America: The First Avenger, uh, for same price, fifteen dollars. So it's a good deal with a really nice pristine zip cover. It's clean. It's nice. It's beautiful. So yeah, that is. What I got from Half Our Books and on eBay, I this was ten dollars. Um, that is the Incredible Hulk. Um, the slip cover is a little worn, um, very dinged up. But the only thing that's matters is the content inside, and I really like this movie. I'm one of few. I'm one of few people who actually like this movie. It's enjoyable. It's fun. We got abomination. It's freaking cool. I love the third act of the movie. Um, yeah, really like this movie. I thought Eric Banner did a fine job as Bruce Banner, aka Hulk, and I really enjoyed this movie. Um, it's been a long time I watched this movie, but I know I like this movie. I still do like this movie, and I'm happy to add them to my MCU collection that, that now I am rebuilding them by getting all in 4K. Hopefully, all with sub cover because that's what I want. That's my main goal. I guess we now we get to the eBay stuff from 4K. This one. I got it for ten dollars. This is a Pixar um, film that is The Incredibles two. Yes, I own Incredibles two on Blu-ray, but you know what? I decided to upgrade them on four K because I am planning to upgrade the first Incredible on four K. Um, love the sequel. It is a long awaited sequel. We all know that we've been waiting for the sequel. We've been craving for a sequel. And honestly, I was 
I was satisfied with this movie. I really like this movie. It's tons of fun. It's cute. It's wonderful. It's lighthearted. It's just fun, fun film that Brad Bird nailed out of the park for this. So yeah, this is a long awaited sequel and I'm happy to own it on my Pixar collection. This one, I was so happy to find on eBay for a good price. That's very cheap. I got it for $20. Um, when I saw this on eBay, usually it go around 40 bucks, 50 bucks for the slipcover. Because I want it with the slipcover and I love this movie. This is one of my favorite Nolan films of all time. That is Inception. Got it for $20 with the slipcover. Now that's the price I'm willing to pay because I love this movie. This is a three disc um, set and it's a worth of upgrade because I can finally upgrade one of my favorite, of my favorite Nolan films on 4K and the 4K looks incredible, especially the, the audio, the, the sound, um, you know, with, with Hans Zimmer excellent score. Oh my God, it's mind boggling how good that sounds and the picture, the picture quality is amazing and I love this movie. The story's great, the character's great, the cast is great, the direction's great. You know all the the same info that we get from Inception. I love this movie and I'm happy to add this to my 4K collection because... <sighs> mm. And I found this on Best Buy. Um, now we get to the, the stuff I got from Best Buy for $15. That's Interstellar. Will this subcover? This came out as 17 and came the subcover. Um, again. We watched this movie again on 4K. Love this movie. And the 4K looks incredible. Especially the IMAX shots. Oh my god. It is breathtaking to watch. It's like you're watching a brand new movie. Even though I've seen this movie in theaters um, back when. When it was a big hype. Um, and I believe this. No. This is not my first Nolan film I saw in theaters. My first, my first Nolan film I saw in theaters was The, the Dark Knight Rises. Then it was Interstellar. Then it was Dunkirk. Now I'm planning to get Dunkirk on 4K with a sub with a subcover because I want it with a subcover. So amazing film. Love the score by Hans Zimmer. And this was another upgrade. So most of it are upgrades. Force Gum, better by Robert Semeckis starring Tom Hanks. Love this movie. Um oh it's a glare. So can you see? Yeah, there you go. Um love this movie. You know, iconic, classic. What else can I say? I have not yet be watched it. I have not yet be watched this on 4K, but I'm planning to do so in the future. Just love, love this film. The next two are still books, but most importantly, both of them are directed by Hitchcock. The first one is The Birds. Really lovely, lovely, nice looking still book. And if you're curious what the back look like, it's the silhouette of Hitchcock with the birds on the center. Really nice release. I like this movie. It's not great. It's not one of his cock best, but it's it's really fun and enjoyable nonetheless. And I'm sure it's gonna look great on 4K. Same goes with Psycho. This one is pretty cool that I include the uncut. Psycho uncut, which I've never seen, but I've seen the Psycho that we all seen before. Love the artwork of this of this still book. The the gold lettering on the title is popping. Really beautiful, nice. If you care what the back look like. Here the silhouette of Alfred Hitchcock and that is Base Motel on the back. Really, really cool. It was $20 each. I'm like, that's a good price I'm willing to pay. So that is Psycho and the Birds. Now we go to the Blu-rays. Um, the lesser, well, I still collect Blu-rays still. So continue on with Hitchcock. We got Strangers on a Train. Really great. Love this. So much fun, especially the third act. It kept you going, it kept you intrigued, it kept you wanting more. And I love this movie. I probably gonna be Hitchcock underrated films, in my opinion. And it went up to top tier Hitchcock film that I love. Obviously Real Window is remain my number one, but Stranger on Ten is easy in the top ten for sure. Love this. Um really great. If you have not seen any of Hitchcock films, I highly recommend Stranger on the Train. Really, really fun story that I did not expect to be. I'll go for. Um, just really enjoyed this one. That is, that is Strangers on a Train. The next two are from Warner Archive. One of them is a silent film. You know me. I love silent films. The Big Parade. I believe this came out in 19... Why it doesn't say in the back? 1925. And 
this looked great. I have not seen it yet. I'm trying to say the right moment for me to watch this movie. But I know I'm going to love it because I love Sonic films. And that is the big, the big parade. I know it was originally released as a digibook back then. But I think that's when Out of Plan and then Warner Archive decided to re-release it again. Another one that originally was released on digibook back then. That's Munity on the Bounty by starring the ever awesome Charles Lawton and Clark Gable. And I cannot wait because this is the best picture winner. And I'm really excited to watch a brand new Best Picture winner that I've not seen and starring an excellent actor, Charles Lawton and Clark Cable. This looks fun. Um, yeah, I know I'm going to love that movie, but I have to, I'm going to have to find time to watch this movie. Another Best Picture winner film that I bought from Half by Books for $80, that is How Green Was My Valley. I believe this is directed by John Ford. That is correct. This is directed by John Ford. Um, yeah, this looked great. This is the best, another best picture winner. It's really cheap. I got it for $8 on Half by Books. I said yes, because this is the best picture winner I've not seen. So that's very exciting for me. Um, same price, I got it for $8 on Half by Books. Um, that's Fractured Seal. That's, um, Glen, Glen Gary Glen Ross. Um, the sticker is covered by this title. So, yeah. Um, the main reason I got this is that I seen a clip from my editing class um, that we took and you know it got my intrigue. It had great cast, Al Pacino, Jack Lemmon, Alec Baldwin, Ed Harris, and Arkin and then the dude we don't mention starring the letter starring K, you know, Kevin. You know what I'm talking about. Um, this looked great, it had a great cast. Um, I love some good dialogue pieces and I know this was released um, Yet again, by Shell Factory, by their Sack Select. But this was cheap. I got it for $8. This is a Lionsgate release. So, it was cheap enough for me to get it. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get the Shell Select. I I'd rather get that. This one is done by Taco Chidi and starring Sam Neill and Julian Dennison. That is, um, Hunt for the Wilder, Wilder People. I heard amazing things about this one. Um, especially, this is a great director um, effort by Taco Chidi. I still have not seen... What we do with the shadows. I still have not seen this. Um, I got it for $10 from Half Life Books. Um, it was a good condition. I decided to pick it up. I've been look for this for I've been looking for this everywhere. And finally the hunt was over. Now I now I still need to track down what we do with the shadows because I heard phenomenal things with that movie. So I heard really good things about this movie. I cannot wait to dive into this. This is a blind watch, a first time watch, if you will. Cannot wait. Now we get to the spooky tarot that I got from CD Exchange. Um, I have some coupons, some discount codes. So, yeah, the first one is Frozen, not the Disney movie. Um, this is the um, survival thriller movie starring um, Sean Osmore. Um, Sean Asmore, who was in X Men movie, I believe. Um, this is the title I've been looking for everywhere. I've been wanting to watch this movie for the longest time. This film, this is the film that has been my radar for the longest time, and finally I found it on it, on CD Exchange for eight dollars in a brand new condition. Um, I'm planning to watch this for the month of October. Cannot wait. This looks fantastic, really doing stuff. So cannot wait to watch this. And the last two are the, share the same theme. I love the first film. The first film remained a masterpiece for me. It's a film that we watch every October. So the title I'm talking about is The Exorcist 2, The Heretic for, no, I did not pay $24.99. I got a discount price for $14. And I heard the sequel is not the greatest or not the best, but I'm going to watch it because I want to watch it because I'm planning to revisit The Exorcist again and, I, and I'm do a marathon that I have not seen, the film that I'm not seeing that The Exorcist, The Heretic. I did reverse the cover art. Um, if you could watch the, the newly commissioned artwork, there it is. I'm going to put the actual image on the screen if you want to know. But that is the SS2, the heretic. And I was super happy to find this for only $20. That's the price I, I, I will pay. That is the SS3. By the way, both of these are released by Screen Factory. If you, yeah, if you didn't know. Um... Yeah, happy to find them on the same day. 
Um, you know, I was like, I've been eyeing on this. I was originally gonna buy them from, you know, from South Factory website, but I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't so I can get them on CD Exchange. But yeah, I heard nothing but amazing things on the SSD. It's people saying it's so much better than the SSS2, but I'm still gonna watch the SSS2. Anyways, yeah, this is the reverse of a cover art. Um, I, I like the, um, you know, the reverse of cover art over the, the newly commissioned artwork. Um, yeah, I heard fantastic, fantastic things of the SSS3. Lastly, but not least, let me move all the stuff away, is a package from Amazon. I hope, I hope it didn't, it didn't arrive damage. If it did, I'll be mad. This is the, this is the release that came out August 30th, on the same day that it was released by Coraline and the Box Trolls. Um, so yeah. That is Dune on 4K, the David Lynch version of Dune. Um, yeah, th this will be my first time watch, and I'm I'm inspecting. I'm expecting the packaging looks nice. It doesn't have any dent or anything like that. It's not damaged. Perfect. Um, this is another Apple Video release. This is pretty cool. I got three um, limited edition Apple Video um, release in this haul, which is very exciting. Um, this is the version that I've not seen, but I heard so much about. Um, you know, I want to watch this movie before I watch the Dennis Villeneuve Dune because that's the film I'm really dying to watch. I need that film in my eyeballs already. But I am planning to do a 4K slash movie review on this release, and we'll be, I'll be sharing my thoughts on the film. Not only that, I also bought the novel. By Frank Herbert, and I'm currently page 180, and I'm loving it. I am loving it. Um, yeah. There you go. There you go. That's everything what I picked up for the month of August. Sorry for the late. Um, you know, this video's late. I know, but better late than ever, I guess. So, come with the thing of the title that I show you for this haul. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterbox. Link below. Have a great day. Take care.